Hey, and welcome back for another edition of Ruck Rehab. Uh, this is going to be a pretty easy one. It's part three of my sand grail series cleanup, whatever you want to call it. This is boom, the mill kit bag. Now this thing is pretty clean. Um, the outside's got maybe just a little speck on the strap there. The bottom's pretty good. The only real issues that it has are over in this corner here as it flops away from me. It's got some wear on the bottom, which is going to be a hard repair because the inside has like a second layer on it. So you're going to see that. And then a couple small holes right up in there. Nothing horrible. Uh, it'll get a quick scrub. I know I said I was going to wait until the spring, do it with the hose and all that stuff, but come on. That's, I don't have the patience for that, all right? It's 54 today, it's gonna be 28 tomorrow. I don't wanna deal with that kind of crap. Inside, there's a lot of dog hair, but that's all right. Free pet hair that comes with uh, your purchases sometime. So here we have, boom, the milk kit bag. Inside's not bad. And we've got some uh, lighter color staining, maybe. A little bit of dirt here and there. Uh, again, like I said, it's almost got that waterproof membrane on it. And so this kind of, I think, will come out all right. You know, the bottom of it, like I said, a lot of pet hair in there. Not horrible. This side here. So... This isn't bad. I've never had one of these before. I like it's got the big interior pockets on both sides. Oh, uh, where are we at here? There by the logo is just another little pocket, you know, and again, that's not bad at all. Uh, I just like the way that's set up. And then on the outside, while well, the case gonna look at it, you know, we've got a big just open pocket on this end, opposite side. We got the molly webbing for the attachments there. Which I don't know what you're gonna attach to this thing. I mean, you're, like, you need to add something extra to this. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. This is all you're gonna need. I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for. I'll probably just use it to store some of the other rucks in. And if I decide to take some sort of crazy trip where I need to pack basically all the clothes I own. So, we'll give this thing a quick scrub up tonight uh, with my work schedule. We'll get to it later this week for a soak and then a rinse and should be done. Stay tuned and we'll see uh, what most we can do with this one. All right, so I got the big scrub done, uh, the initial one. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, the little dots we had on the straps disappeared. Inside came out really nice. I, I like to think that maybe, maybe I get a little bit brighter. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a soak. See how that comes. You'll see here, I don't know if you can see that, where it looks lighter in these areas i don't know if that's going to change or not that's kind of why i'm going to try to attempt the soak uh just to see if maybe this is some dirt that's going to lift out and that that's where it is or by the feeling of it i almost feel like that's where that like waterproof kind of membrane uh came off so it might not make a huge difference it's going to be on the inside it's not really going to be a big deal uh, but i just want to see what else we can get out of there you know, it's got a few spots here on the, the inside. Nothing major. I love these red zipper poles in here. 
Uh, I think I'll definitely be doing some red on the other ones. Uh, other than that, today I got in my samples for paracord for my GR1. I'm really happy with some of them. Some of them at, but that's the, the gamble you run, getting a couple different ones. Some of them are not going to be exactly what you want, but I did find one that uh, I think is going to be beautiful. And then maybe we'll try and pick up some other colors that are a little unusual just to set off. So we'll see. I'd be, I'd be real excited to wrap one of these entire handles. But that's just uh, insane. I mean, I can't even imagine how much paracord would be needed and all that. So probably won't be too much on here. Probably some zipper pulls and that's it. But uh, I'm going to get this thing in the soak. We'll get a few pictures as that's going. And then we'll meet back here when it's done. All right. Stay tuned. All right, here we are. The milk kit bag is done. I think it came out beautifully. Nice and crisp and clean, bright colors. Yeah, it's still, still hair damp. So yeah, I see like a tiny spot on there, but I think that might just be moisture. We'll see how that comes out. Um, all around, looks great. Uh, if you remember the inside had those uh, like whiter spots. And I was like, eh, that might just be worn away. Well, I was wrong. The entire inside is now that white color. Minus, again, you can probably see a little bit here. It's still damp a little bit. You know, it's, this thing's huge. It's hard to dry. Uh, but the whole thing is nice and crisp and clean inside. I mean, I couldn't be happier with how this came out. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be it for now. I'm waiting on some paracord to do some handle wraps and stuff. We'll make some small videos of those. But overall, until I get something else to clean, uh, you know, we'll get in something here or there. But for now, keep working.